Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today's clip is about an issue regarding my hearing. So as you would have well known, I have been exploring with some new hearing aids and I've been getting on really, really well. Unfortunately, I've had a bit of an issue with one of the uh, hearing aid uh, problems, which I have had a problem where it actually starts to switch itself off. So unfortunately, I'm waiting for another appointment now at my local audiology department at the hospital to try and get that resolved. So what I'm trying to do is still carry on with the new ones. But at the moment, I find myself coming back to my old traditional sort of setting, which is the, the cross hearing aids with wire at the back of my neck, which, as you would have known if you've watched some of my clips before, that I've got on really, really well with that. And it's a fantastic system. So it's not necessarily a negative. It's almost it's quite nice to go back to something I feel so comfortable with. But I am still using the new hearing aids. So hopefully this problem with the new ones will be resolved pretty quickly. I have an appointment very soon. But that's not what my clip is about today. So my clip today is all about a problem which I have had for probably the whole time I've had hearing issues. And sometimes I'm more together about it than others. And sometimes my confidence is greater than other times with this problem. So what it actually is, is when I'm having a conversation or if somebody asks me a question and it's missing certain words. And for me, it sounds like something different. And I know this happens to everybody, but of course, anybody with a hearing problem will appreciate it happens more, even if you are wearing hearing aids, because it's not necessarily natural sound you're hearing. It's just increasing the sound you're able to hear. Um, for example, it's making it louder. It's not necessarily natural clarity between speech. Now, for me, when I first started having uh, hearing issues um, many, many years ago now, uh, it was very, very difficult for me. But along along sort of the journey of my hearing issues, um, it's got better and I still have... I still have amazing times where it never really bothers me and I can laugh it off if I if I mishear something and I and I think it sounds like something completely different and usually the people who I'm with, sort of my family or people near uh, very close to me, find it we sort of end up having a bit of a joke about it. But sometimes it's not necessarily that easy to sort of um to sort of let pass by. And for example, last week I had a bit of an experience where it, it was it seemed to be a whole day where I was quite stressed out anyway. And of course, anybody who knows who has hearing loss and tinnitus, stress is uh, a big no, no. For me, I was having a bit of a, uh, a day where I was worrying about a lot of things and I was really quite stressed out. And actually, the whole day I had tinnitus in my in my uh, right ear um, and on my right side, I was really, really having uh a real difficult time with a constant sort of high pitch noise. I and mean, I've had tinnitus for, for many years again. So again, I can manage it, but some days when it's really overbearing, it's, it's very difficult too. And this particular day I was actually going out with uh, some family, but on, at times I was missing things in conversation. And with my family, it wasn't necessarily a problem, but it was this, I actually, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it. So what actually happened was we stopped in a service station on the way back um, from where I had been for the day. Um, and we were in the service station and we, we were ordering some food and uh, somebody came up, somebody came up to, up to us in general, not necessarily asking a question to myself, but it was... Uh, I, can't, I don't necessarily know uh, what it actually was, but rather than having to go to a counter to put your order through to somebody, there was an automated, um, like an automated self-service uh, sort of uh, board and with a screen on which you would put your order through. So fantastic, so you don't have to wait for a queue or anything. Somebody came straight over and we were sort of naturally, because there's quite a few people about sort of, not necessarily directly in front of it, but nearby. And now what the person came over and said, I actually know, but to me it was, have you ordered? Now, I completely got this wrong and I said, no, thank you. We, we've ordered. Thank you very much. Anyway, you, you go ahead. And he looked at me really, really strange with his partner. And she looked at me really strange as well. I thought in my own mind. And what it actually was, is this where we order? Not have you ordered? And in that split moment, because I had family, I had my two brothers with me. And I, I, it's one of those moments. Sometimes if that would have happened to me, I could have laughed it off that point in time because I had the tinnitus going and I almost felt really quite vulnerable to think that my goodness I didn't hear that that didn't come through to me I didn't I didn't sort of get that right and I just thought how how awful and I felt so so almost so alone and so isolated and my brothers could both see that 
how this affected me. And they were very quick to sort of reassure me. And there was loud sounds about them things. But I knew myself it was my hearing. And it was so difficult to sort of accept. So and this has happened a couple of times lately where I haven't just been able to laugh it off. And it's really, really become a bit of an issue where it's got me quite down. It's got me feeling quite flat. So and, and of course, if you've watched my clips before, if I get quite down or if I get quite in a low mood, it doesn't sort of wear off very quickly. It's sort of a couple of days with myself. So I, I, I've spoken about this with my parents and she, and they've been really, really, in, in, they're always such incredible uh, support for me. Um, and it and it helps. What I would say, if you have problems like this yourself and you watch this and you think, yeah, I have hearing problems and this happens to me quite a lot, then I believe one of the best things you can have is a real strong support network to talk how certain situations have made you feel. And I certainly do that. And on this occasion, I actually I can find my mum with absolutely everything. Um, we're, we're like best friends, to be honest with you as well. And I have really, really... Uh, Sort of in a way try to sort of come to a, come up to something which is sort of causing me to feel quite flat and quite down about something and again if i don't talk to my mum about it i talk to my dad again very close really quite good to talk things through um but whereas with my, my dad will give a lot more will give me a lot more of a, a cut short sort of answer um which is great so so supportive but um sort of from my mum I get sort of I it's almost like she puts herself in my situation and it, it, she can really sort of tell me almost exactly how I'm feeling and um and actually when my mum recently has said to me that Bradley you need to concentrate on what you've achieved because these last couple of days I've, I have been really quite down about it and really sort of quite gloomy and quite low and it's really affected me and my mum was actually saying to me you need to concentrate on what you've achieved and the person who you are and what you have to offer as a person. And you know what, that I really try to keep thinking over that. And because I'm always trying to do helpful things, I'm always trying to help out everybody, whether I know the person, whether it's family, whether it's colleagues at work. I always try to go above and beyond, really, really above and beyond. And I really go out of my way to help people. And it's just sort of like, but I still got this problem. I still got this issue and I know it's not going to go away. And, you know, sometimes I can handle it absolutely perfectly fine. Others, others, I, I can't. And at this in this moment of time, missing words for me is really quite difficult, really stresses me out. Sometimes I can laugh about it. Like, for example, if one of my family members have said something in our family home and I've got it completely bizarre and it's sort of like they would laugh and look at me and I would laugh and it would sort of be like, where enough did that come from? Sometimes at work I've misheard things or misheard names, but there's there's always get around. There's always a get around it. So it's sort of like, for example, I can always say, oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I got that. Or I can smile or if I haven't actually necessarily heard something, if usually, fingers crossed, usually if I don't hear something, if I keep smiling, if I keep sort of that tone, I can get myself through it quite quickly. But of course, sometimes when it happens, it's not so easy, particularly if you're feeling quite stressed or if you've got tinnitus going on as well. So. I come to YouTube very often to sort of not necessarily explain myself, to, but to almost to sort of get this off my chest and talk about it. Um, and it's great because there's, it's it's so impartial. There's no one to sort of say or to question you or to start. Because me, if I start talking about things, I start questioning about it, even though I'm not upset. I do start to get quite upset with it. Um, and, and, it and it's great. So that's why I come to YouTube. So my, my channel is all about sort of helping you along the bumpy road of life with all sorts of things. A lot of things in my life are fantastic and great. This, of course, is a real difficult thing for me at times. And it has been at the moment. What I would say sort of going forward, how have I got myself through this in the last couple of days? First of all, summertime when the weather's absolutely so sunny and it's a lot more brighter, just getting out in the air, getting out in the nice weather that really does clear my head makes me feel a lot more confident and you know what another thing as well listening to the things around us as well and those horrific stories we hear always makes me feel how how grateful I am for what I do have and not for what I haven't got um, and the support of my parents I have the most amazing parents in the world my mum and my dad are absolutely incredible and I spend a lot of time with them and I help them out a lot, but they also help me out a lot of who the person I am today. So I would certainly say that if you have problems such as hearing, a great support network is an absolute must. Um, and yeah, yeah, really, really great. So I would say that that's what my clip's all about today. 
getting that off my chest about having those issues sort of missing things and have to admit it really really did kind of destroy me um for a good two three days after i was actually my grandparents um who i actually visited on my on my dad's side who i don't see very often and it was really really lovely um but on the way back we stopped in a service station and that, and that kind of happened but it'd been happening all day and i think that it was just sort of it was building up. There was a few things which I didn't sort of hear with my grandparents. We went we went out for dinner in a restaurant. My hearing was really, really quite tested. And it was just sort of building up. Then on the way back, late in the evening, we stopped in a service station. This happened for me. It was just sort of like the last straw, that sort of final push over the edge. And it really did knock me back. And it, and it really it, it really ruined my evening and the rest of the journey home. And it was really almost quite devastating to me and it took a long time a couple of days for me to sort of see the positives and what I actually do have not what I don't have um, and that's what my parents were always saying to me like my dad why worry about this when you have so much to look forward to and my mum being so supportive as well about concentrating on the things I have achieved um, and my brothers are really supportive as well and my grandparents as well and uh, and very often, I mean, I, I've spoken about that my nan has Alzheimer's, but sometimes when I have these problems, sometimes because very often she has a good day, she can still sort of be there for me. And it's just sometimes even I go and sit with her and I, and I hold her hand and we, and we natter about things and, and we natter about things some more. And sometimes we go over things quite a lot. But sometimes just that look and that sort of that care and even that hug can really, really put you on the right road to feeling good about yourself. So... What I wanted to really get about today is to really vent about that problem which I'm having with missing words at the moment. I'm getting better for it, do you know what I mean? I had good times and bad times, but I am getting better for it. But I think my, my main thing of getting me through this is having a great support network. And I think that really sort of translates into a lot of things in life. If something's on your mind or if something's really getting you down, having that great support network, whether or not that's a girlfriend, sort of if, if your, your partner, sort of whoever you're with, or sort of if you're if you've got uh, parents uh, sort of there to support you, grandparents, aunts, uncles, uh, best friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, whoever it is, um, even that person who you talk to in the street, sometimes just venting can really get it um, off your chest and make you feel a lot better. And I know with my parents that certainly has, and particularly my brothers as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that clip today. I almost feel lighter talking about this on my mind. As you would know, that's why I very often come to YouTube to talk about these issues on my mind. And it's and it's really, really great. And I really enjoy doing this and it makes me feel a whole lot better. So really enjoy doing that clip today. And as ever, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.